Hey everybody. Oh, what's going on? Happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, had a very good weekend. I know there's been some challenges with the weather. Um, hoping everybody's family is safe. Those that are in those that state or states that are affected by that, I pray God that everything is all well, well with you and your family, that you are safe, that you are sound. Everything else will be okay. Everything else will come in time. Please, please be safe. I cannot stress that more than anything. I'm just kind of playing some music, some Beyonce. She's got some really good music. You know, she's, she's had an interesting career. Um, not a big fan of her, per se, as a person, but she puts out some really good music. And I tell you, you can clean the house. You can get your makeup going. She's got a couple of theme songs like, Girls is All Right. So, yeah, I wanted to just talk a little bit about some eyes, maybe some lips. As you guys know, the weather is going to start changing. It's already starting to get cold. We're going into the fall. Uh, you guys definitely want to take care of your lips. You don't want no ashy, cracked, bleeding lips. No es bueno. So, um, you know, we've got lip balm, balm. We've got the exfoliator. I've got some of that coming in, and I will show as I get the products. So you guys can see, hey, this might be something I want to including my arsenal and my makeup and my get ready and so forth. Um, a little bit with the eyes. So I have started, I did my, I pulled my hair back and I did my eyes two different ways. I didn't necessarily um, do them both because everybody does their eyebrows different, but I just wanted to show you just a little something there. So I do have the pencil. Um, I did this one a little bit different and you like your brows this way. This one was more rounder. This one's got a little bit of an arch. And basically what I do is, and let me get this here because I wasn't finished with this one. So what I do is I just kind of, if you want to fill in your brows, definitely I start from the middle and I'll fix it up there. Just put my hand because it's kind of sparse in the bottom and just go across that way there and then come up um, and then just kind of go to the top a little bit. And I was really like, because like I said, I did it, I'm just kind of filling it in and then I just kind of feather up. Um, just to fill in just a little bit of, a little bit there, kind of sparse. And then there's a little bit sparse. I'll go in with a very light hand. Because you, you definitely don't want electric tape eyebrows. You don't want grouch, grouch or mark eyebrows. Because your people that ain't your friends, they can sit up there and be like, oh, girl, you look good. And they, they lying. They ain't your friends. You have me up here look crazy. Ridiculous. So go back there. Now, if you mess up, don't worry about it because I'm going to show you a little something. You can fix it. So I just filled it in a little bit. Hi, India. India had a birthday yesterday. So happy belated birthday again. I did give you a shout out yesterday. But I give you a shout out again. Happy birthday to all the people in September. Is this your birthday? Definitely let me know and I'll shout you guys out. So I did that there a little bit. And like I said, you just feather it in. Your pencil. I do brown and black. I have a black one now, so I kind of mix it. I'll do like brown maybe and then fill it in with black and then use like a spoolie um, just to kind of just kind of blend it in there just a little bit. Right? Now, I'm going in now with my brush there. I can uh, use it as a concealer and I take a little bit of concealer where I messed up and on the bottom part Hi, Teresa. Thank you for coming and hanging out. So I'll take a lighter shade of the concealer, usually a, a shade or two. Um, and wherever I messed up, I'll just kind of clean it up. And then also, this is a base when you get ready to put on your, um, when you get ready to put on, when you get ready to put on your shadows. So I didn't take a lot there, just a little bit. And I'll just go just a little bit across. And it, it just cleans it up really nicely. It makes it look really neat. Also, for you ladies that don't necessarily like to tweeze or wax your eyebrows, um, this is a good way just to kind of go over it if you just want to leave, you know, your natural, you know, you want to leave your natural brow the way it is. You don't want to mess with it too much. Totally understandable. Um, there's different ways you can achieve things, and this is one of the ways. Like, you fill it in, you know, the way you want it. If you have very sparse eyebrows, this will definitely work for you. Because as you can see, this one is a little bit more rounder. This one, I put a little bit more arch. And I did it that different way because everybody does them different. For me to say, oh, do your brows like this. Like, no, I'm not going to say that because everybody's face is different. They're trying to achieve a different kind of look. Um, sometimes during the day, you may not want to fill it in as much. Evening look, even where you might want to put a little bit more wear on it, um, which works for you. 
So as you can see here, I cleaned it up. And if I went too far in, I would just take the pencil and um, just go back in and fill where it was there. So as you can see, I just come out a little bit and it's a little bit lighter and it cleans it up really nice. And then on top, I'll get a color that's a little bit closer to my shade because then you'll be looking crazy. If you do one that's a, it's too, too light and you put it on top too, you're going to look crazy. Trust me when I tell you. And then what I'll do is, this is more of a flesh color. You'll find your color that's closest to you. I don't use a lot because, again, what I'm trying to do is just clean it up. And, you know, I'm brightening it up a little bit. And I'll even extend it out here just a little bit just to kind of clean it up. Very neat. I'm happy with that. Um, not too much. Just like I said, just take the spoolie, go out a little bit, you know, brush up the hairs, move it there. Boom. Done. Um, and then I'll take the brush a little bit and I'll bring it down just a little bit just to kind of blend. You can also use a beauty blender to blend it there as well. Um, yeah, just to kind of get it in there good. Not major, major, major. No biggie. Just a little bit. And then later on, I'll just go in a little bit there. So now I'm going to take my... Hi, Kenzu. My husband came to say, what's up? He's fine on me, y'all. He just trying to say hi here. Beautiful. Take it in. So I'm going in with palette four. Um, you guys love these palettes. We also have the quads with different colors. So when you go on my page and you see that maybe these colors are not for you, trust me. The quads are really nice because if you want to customize the colors that are for you, you know, we're kind of transitioning from summer into fall. These actually, you know, I like palette four because you, this is really all summer long. It's too cute. Okay, it's cute. Thank you. I like to be cute. I need my cute. One day I'm going to get y'all up here to uh, come up in here on my live. I'm going to have a giveaway this week. So, um, and I will post it in my regular page and here for giveaways. So if you invite about three friends, three or five friends, just come. They don't have to buy anything. Just kind of come over and see what it's about. I'm going to do a little demonstration. I'm going to have a giveaway. Hopefully my stuff will be here. So even if it's not here, I'll make sure you get it. All right, so here we go, palette four. Today, I'm going to do some combination of colors that I haven't used. So I'm going to go with Secretive. That's this color here. Can you guys see? And I'm going to go with Cheerful. And then I'm not going to go with Triumphant. I did that the last time. And a little bit of Tender. All right, so I'm using my brush here. And like I said, I'm going to have my angle here. And I'm going to kind of start doing it this way. I'm going to do one show wipe motions. This one, I'm going to start with uh, Secretive as my base color. All right. And here we go. Boom. So I'm starting in the crease. And I'm windshield wiping. Yep. Like how it was on the highway with all that rain. Yep. I'm wiping, wiping, wiping. And this one is, as you can see, it's shiny. Now, you don't have to. Some people go with a matte, but like I said, I'm exploring today with some different colors. I'm just trying to achieve something a little bit different. I want something a little bit glitterly, glitter, glitterly, glittery. And so that's what I'm going to do there. And that's what I'm going to start at. What I love about makeup is there is no hard and fast. There are some basic rules and foundational stuff, but... It's it's the look that you achieve, you achieve, and it's not so serious that if it doesn't look good, get you a wipe and start again. And we do have the makeup wipes, which are really phenomenal. They have aloe. Can't talk today. They're very phenomenal because they have aloe vera and other oils and stuff. So they're actually you're not just wiping off the makeup, but you're also nourishing and treating your skin, which super duper love because you don't want to have something and after you're like cracky and itchy and dry, you definitely want to nourish that. And then we go from there. So as you can see, guys, I got it going on there. Come up a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my cheerful. So I said that. That's my. If I ever get this together, boom, this color right here. I scratched that one. You know, the first day I got it, I was so excited. I was like, oh, super, super pigmented, which I like about it. And I'm going to start actually 
right in the corner there uh, in the socket under. And I'm going to come across because I want to, like I said, this is more of a fall look, a fall even look like if I was going to be out. And I wanted to kind of see what I'm going to create. So I'm holding it actually this way. And I'm going in because I'm trying to get some definition, almost like a half smoke. So you can see here where I'm going. And then I use most of it here. And then I bring it over because I want to blend. Because I don't want to look like one color's here and then the other one stops. I want it to have the gradient effect where it's like you don't know, kind of like the sky, the expanse of the sky, like you, the, the clouds are there. One blue starts here. You know, you have your cerulean, eh, 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 right? And then you have your sky blue, and it's all these pretty blues, but you don't know where one ends and the other one isn't. God's uh, creation is so beautiful. So I want to create that kind of a thing, kind of like a sunset kind of look. And here I go. And as you can guys see, again, wouldn't show after the key to everything, again, is blending. You want to make sure you get it in there. And I'll come down a little bit. And as you can see, you can still see the gold. But now the, the goldish and the sparkly is now, you know, coming in with that cheerful, which is giving that twilight effect, which I absolutely, absolutely love. And it's given a little smoky as well, too, as you can see the difference where there's nothing there with that one. And I'm only going to do that one there. Okay. Okay, I still got a little bit. I'm going to take the tip and then I'm going to just come here a little bit to continue just to smoke it out just a little bit. And now I'm just only using this part here to go, and like I said, just define what it is that I'm trying to do here. And then I'll go ahead and do the brow bone and a little bit of the lid, and then I'll be done with that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this part with the tender. That's the, the lighter color where I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna highlight the brow just a little bit right under where I put that concealer. And because I had that concealer there already, um, it just kind of grabs it. It's just kind of like my canvas is really smooth. It's clear. It's clean. I like it. I'm good with it. Put that there. And then I'll just go with this and just kind of bring it up a little bit. I'll do a little bit of circular just to bring, because I don't want too much. Like I said, I want the gradient effect. Um, just a little bit to come down. So now, as you can see, I've kind of transitioned where it's much darker here, and it's just kind of getting lighter, lighter into the color there. And, you know, to your effect, you could do it. But that's just a technique that I use just a little bit. So I started with, you know, kind of this this angle and I had uh, most of the product and I worked that into the crease. You know, then I went around in circles and then now I'm just kind of coming up and doing circles again here just to kind of push up what I already have. So that it's like really light and then it's it's almost like it's another color I have, if you guys can see. And then. For me, I'll just do a little bit here. I'm doing this like this. Just a little bit and pat it on. The lid. The lid had a little bit of the remnants of that. And that was that there. And move it. And I'm I'm okay with that. And that's that's my eyeshadow look. And I'm done with that. Um, so that's as far as that there. I want to take sometimes I'll take another I'll take another brush a, a clean brush and just buff it out just you know just so like again like I said it doesn't it doesn't look so like oh my gosh she just drew lines all over her eyes just a little bit buff it out nice there you go I'm happy with that all right then I'm gonna go next with my lash serum do I have the right thing oh yes Transplanting gel, right? And then I'm gonna go with my Epic Mascara. And we're gonna see what we can create. Hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, I love this because we have the Transplanting gel, we have the Epic Mascara, and then we also have the Fiber Lashes. 
all of these things, you can use one, the Epic Alone Stand, and we also have the serum. The serum I put on at night. I did a video where I did my uh, nightly uh, skincare, put on my serum and left it. And then as you're going to see through the weeks, hopefully my eyelashes will get you know, better with that. Because as I said, you want to keep using uh, falsies. I love falsies, but sometimes you just don't have the time. Who wants to mess with glue? It pulls out your lashes. Y'all know the whole spiel. So here we go. We're going to go with the transplanting gel. And let me show you before. Well, oh, this one there. All right, I put a little bit there. All right, so. Okay. And already you can see where is it going? Let me just get that. And you can do layers, like I said, to just kind of, I just want to make sure I have a bad habit. I don't get the end like I'm discriminating, right? So I did that one there. Then I'm going to go on with the Epic Mascara. And I like that it works together. This is, no, this is the, oh, this is the fiber lashes. No, I'm doing that one. Oh, Epic Mascara. And... Ooh, wee. And I am going to get it popping. And as you guys see, I didn't do a lot. Because, again, like I, I tell you, what I like about this, it really elongates what you have. So if you do not have lashes, no worries. No worries at all. And if I really wanted to get fancy, I'll go ahead and get, um, I'll go ahead and get some more of the transplanters, y'all. I'm trying to make it on drop my stuff. And I'm gonna go on there. Right there. They said, do your thing, chicken wing. And already look and see what have I accomplished. So here there's nothing. Alrighty there. So if I want a little bit more, I definitely have the option to go in. Wait, what was this right here? That's mascara. I can do another layer of mascara. Yeah, I got some fiber lashes. Roll it out there, make sure it's good to go. Does it move or pinch it in? Uh oh. Sorry guys. Knocking everything over. I'm gonna go because I want I want that transplanting gel to grab it. So this is actually the fiber lashes. I didn't say I was going to do it, but hey, we're trying to see what we can accomplish. And so I get the real life, the real time reaction of what you would get to, to see if this will work for you. And like I said, this is a, a, a great alternative to falsies. And I like it because like I said, it grabs onto it. You know, the key is just making sure it's intact on your brush, because if not, it's going to fall. You're going to have a lot of fallout in your eye and you sure don't want any lashes up in there. And as you can see, look what I've accomplished. It actually looks like a false lash. You know, what do you guys think? Can you, can you see? Can you definitely see the difference? Let me close this one on. Right? And then this one, nothing. So, again, because I want to, I wanted you to see the full the full wear, so that's the lashes. I'm gonna go one more time with the transplanting gel, and I'll be very careful because I don't want to pull off the lashes that I had, um, the fiber lashes, and then end up putting it in a transplanting gel because that's how you dry it out. So be very careful I'm going that there. Actually, while I'm doing that, I think I'll do this other eye. Ha, windshield wiping. I like that. Yeah, you just boom, 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 boom. Watch, watch, watch. In that storm, and people I know bless their hearts. God, bl God bless them. Oh, there I go again with the fiber lashes. Wrong one. Hello. Transplanting Joe. Hello. All right. So here we go. Boom. Pull that out. Love it. Go up under there. Boom, boom, boom. So boom, I might do the bottom while I have that one. And then I can go from one to the other. 
it's good to go. Okay, so that's my one coat of my transplant gel. And then what did I do next? I did my Epic Mascara. Right, just a nice coat there. Curl them up a little bit. Like that, follow up, make sure I get the ends, because like I said, I will do all the middle and forget all about the ends. No good, no good, no es bueno. After eyelash done. I'm like, what is she doing? Right. And then I went with a another layer of the transplant in gel, and then I'll do the I will do oh almost made it without sticking myself in the eye. Almost guys. Almost. I'm getting better. Right, disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. See, when I go tearing. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So yes, the everyday diva, the working diva that's busy. You're gonna have kids hanging on you. Hubby gonna be like, have you seen my have you seen my my uh have you seen honey, have you seen my tie? Have you seen my shirt? Is this did you put that in the bed? You're doing all kinds of things. You're trying to watch the weather. You're making sure you got the keys, the things is packed, everything is done. So that's what's going on here. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't have that going on right now, but that's you know, that's what you can be doing, but you can still achieve you can still achieve it. All right, so here we go. Transplanting gels. All right, I got it. I'm good to go. Then I'm going to go in with my fiber lashes. Again, I'm going to make sure the fibers are not hanging off. You can roll it this way on your hand. See? Nothing major there. Or you can press them in. So that when it, as you can see, some on the wand a little bit. So when I'm going in now, the transplanting gel is going to grab it. Love it. And what you want to do is just keep twirling your wands because you've got lashes all the way around. Just want to smooth that out. See, there goes a lash there. Put that in because we need him. Push him back in. Roll him across. Yeah, one was one fell on one fell out. I just rolled it in there, grabbed it up. Okay. And I just want to make sure I've got that in there because I don't want to have the clumping, which is not nice. Um, and it, it's just about your technique. The more that you do it, obviously, you'll get better at it. And you wouldn't be doing this every day, which is why I say uh, transplant and gel and mascara can work. The Epic Mascara can work for you. The Epic Mascara can work alone for you. It just really depends on what you're trying to achieve. For me, like I said, I do like falsies, but I don't like all the gluing and all this. And this is much easier for me. And I think that you guys that are really busy, got a lot of things going on, this might work for you as well. Um, again, then you can just take the pencil if you want to do your lash line on the bottom, if your waterline, if you want to do that. I'll just go in. Yeah, I'll like knock some of my fall out a little bit. And then my crease in. I got some crease in my foundation, but that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm going to go in and just do a little bit with my waterline. So I like that these products are definitely multi-purpose and you got to make what works for you. See, I did my eyebrows with this and I'm also going in with my waterline. If you just kind of want to have a more seductive eye, I'll do that first. And then if I want, I could definitely go in with the Epic Mascara on the bottom. It's easier for me once I align this to make sure that I don't cry myself. Ooh, it's coming. So I have my tissues ready. Ooh. Yep, that's what I did. You want to go in on the top a little bit. You can. Definitely to connect. You want to go I'm going on my top order line as well, just a little bit, because I like, I like to pop, you know, and this was not easy. I stuck myself in, but I'm getting better at it. Like I said, I just want to, ooh, there it goes. The waterworks, guys. I did it. I almost made it. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
here. Ooh. Eyes running, nose running, and there we go. So like I said, I went ahead and did that. So let me let you see. So that has, you can see there, that's with no like pins or whatever. And then this is the way I did that brow. And then this one can definitely see the difference with the shadows. And there you go. Then I want to top it off. I'll go ahead and get me some lip gloss. This is Lovesick. It looks pretty bright, but because it's a lip gloss, it's very tinted. And I always said, if it's too light for you, I take some of the palettes and then you can, from the shadow, you can dip that way. Because if you go on there, let me let you see. So this is it, just nothing. And you get to see it's just a tint of the pink, but you might say that's too light. All right, so let's say I want to take a little bit of Brave, which is kind of a mauve -y. That's this one here. Brave. And I put some there. I got some balm already on there. And it's mine, so I can do whatever I want with that. Now, if I don't, and that's on one side, I've got it. I just kind of, so you guys can see I made, I made another color. So this one, a little subtle. This one, a little bit pinkish, depends on you. You keep it on there. If you don't wanna, I'll do it on the top because I wanna kinda show the difference with the two. Or I dip back in, I'll just wipe it off. Cause I may not want the brown all the time, or I may, I don't know. I don't know, whatever you go in. So that's there. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it all. Cause I kind of like that. Boom. And so like I said, if I don't want that brown, wipe it off. Not a lot left on there because I just got a little bit. And boom, there you go. So as you can see with the Epic, so I did Epic Mascara. I did the Transplanting Gel. I did a little bit of fiber lashes. And I usually I use my liner, my liner to just kind of achieve this look here. Um, to give myself a little bit more definition if you don't want to do that much there as you can see i just did if i just wanted my eyelashes to pop and just a little bit just a little bit of the brow this one is a little bit different with a little bit of an arch that could work for you too so it just depends on what you want and this whole demonstration is about showing you how the products work how they're versatile how they're great for you and how you can incorporate it in your makeup routine as well as care so i think you guys are awesome sauce i will see you very soon Teresa. India and Kenzie, thank you so much for joining me now and everybody else that will join me later on the replay. Just make sure you hit hashtag replay. I will definitely respond. And don't forget to visit my page so you guys can see all the great deals. Invite a friend to the page and definitely let's get it on. Bye guys.